Oh my god, I'm back. <coughs> did you miss me? I bet you guys did. Oh my god. It has been such a long time, but I am refreshed. I am ready to go. It is time to play some Yugi. Uh, that was not meant to rhyme. I, I, that was not intentional. <laughs> anyway, I am done with my, uh, my online education class that I was taking over the summer. So for the rest of the summer, I am all good to go record and bring content to you guys. So, of course, today is Monday, and uh, despite us changing things up on Vimin Y, and of course taking two decks out and moving a deck, uh, Monday has not changed. Monday is still, of course, uh, uh, Yubel Archfiends, and like I said, I want to keep this deck on here just because it's been working. It, 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 this deck has been working, it has been twerking, it has been just putting in that work, so I have no complaints from this deck at all. So we opened up with Foolish and Armageddon Knight, so we're going to get to go ahead and send Eris. Eris, go ahead, girl, get your search on. I'm sorry, I'm just super excited to be back. Go ahead and grab that Emperor, and then I'll go ahead and Foolish you, Bell. Oh, we got uh, Archfiend's War, uh, Limit Reverse, so we, we got some good cards here in this opening hand. We did not open terrible, so... Uh, DN decided to be nice and be like, hey, you know, it's been a while. You haven't been on in, like, two weeks, so let me go ahead and give you a, you know, good hand to start off with. Like, oh, thank you, DN. And yeah, I'm totally prepared to at least have some fun in this duel. All right, so i put an upstart on Game 1000. So, uh, just in case the ban list goes up anytime soon, this is recorded before the ban list, you know. And I actually recorded a little bit ahead of schedule, so... Um, the DM Duel Commentaries, which is now on Tuesdays. Yes. Don't, oh, wow. That is a, a lot of background. Uh, DM Duel Commentary, which is now on Tuesdays. Uh, that is also recorded before the ban list because we actually talk about some cards in there. But, uh, yeah. We're just totally, I'm totally prepared to go ahead and do these things and change things up and, you know, have fun with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and summon Tour Guide. You know, Tour Guide's still at one, you know. Uh, a lot of people talk about, you know, Burning Abyss and, you know, hitting Burning Abyss and bringing back Tour Guide, but, you know, you know, Tour Guide is pretty much better than any Burning Abyss monster to an extent, you know, and being able to go, that's just a one card Dante, so, you know, even if we hit Burning Abyss enough, you know, just a nice jolt of Dante, I mean, a Tour Guide may be able to still keep the deck unhit, you know, you know, a ton of people still talking about how the deck should be hit, I still think it should be Surf, you know. Uh, if they want to, they could probably put Dante down to two just to lower that a little bit, but, you know, uh, uh, I would really like to just detach, but, you know, the problem with that, yeah, I'll go after him with his own mains. I'll go on the offensive, because it seems like my opponent's not going to go on the offensive. So, of course, if I block from destruction, alright, he's just going to fiendish train me, that's fine. So that means when he kills me, I'm dead, and yeah. Yep, so I will not get Aerith's effect now. <sighs> Great. Great. Uh, so I wouldn't get I kill you then. Ew, so much back row. <laughs> yeah, because... Eris will get its effect from dead mains when I detach to block from destruction, but I won't be able to do that with Fiendish Strain. I'll just die, so that means I won't get Eris' effect, which sucks. Because I'd really like to get Eris' effect to search. I'd probably go ahead and search for a uh, commander at this point and then summon cavalry, you know, do that play. So he's just going to go ahead and enemy controller. Should one of his tokens and take my Armageddon Knight, so that sucks. <laughs> And then you're just gonna ram my arm again at night. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Man, he just he just fucking threw. Once per turn you can send during each present phase. Okay. So you gonna chip you the token? Or are you just playing that at the end phase so you don't have to tribute? I guess you're just doing that during the end phase so you don't have to tribute. Alright, I'm gonna activate Lemon Verse. Okay. That's it. He's starting to burn his back row. If he's gonna start, if he's gonna start burning his back row, then I guess I'll start going on the uh, offensive with the bell. Okay. 
Draw. Another cavalry. It's fine. Semi phase. Main phase. And then turn defense. Destroy. And it is terror time. Where is terror coming? There it is. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and turn to defense just in case he has like another fiendish chain. And then I guess I'll just go ahead and wipe. Effect. When does this go off? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna play scapegoat. That's fine. So, don't you have some kind of effect that like it tributes something or something? I'm supposed to tokens. So you can tribute one token. The target will make a few times in your graveyard and just something that target. Yeah. I understand. You won't be destroyed anyway. And you choose not to special summon the token that when this card sent to the graveyard. Alright, uh. Uh, Ariel. Ariel, huh? Okay, you just gonna destroy it. It's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead and map start. I don't think you can use that effect because don't they happen simultaneously? Should be one manifest though. No, should be one manifest token that target one uh, meta creates down in your graveyard. Semicolon. So you should be select your target then summon. All right, that's fine. Alright. Uh, I don't really want to do. Probably just going to go ahead and summon Emperor and pop that back row. I don't really care about, you know. I want him to die anyway, so. Or let me reverse that. So, so who's in my grave? Two. Um, Alright. Of course, I didn't get the second one's effect, so. Yeah, I guess I'm summon Emperor, banish, pop. And uh, I can use Archfiend's Roar. Archfiend's Roar to go ahead. After I wipe a couple more times with Terror, because right now I'm still okay. Do not. I'm gonna summon. Go ahead and get my effect. Banish to destroy. I guess it's like another scapegoat or something. Which, of course, he can't play. Let's clean that up. And I'll say, I don't really care what happens to him, so. Oh, it's just the bottomless. I guess you could have played it. Because I was 15. I am 1500. I guess you're just like, fuck it. I think if he would have known my effect, I think he would have go ahead, went ahead and bought it in the state, but hey. I don't know. He didn't say, you know, hold on. No response or anything like that, so. Anyway, I guess I'll just go ahead and wipe with terror. Alright, so you, all these tokens are going to die. You two are going to stay, though. The tokens are gone. Should I hold on to this in reverse? Nah, I'll go ahead and set it, just in case. There's really no point in me killing any of the tokens, so I'll just go Terror Effect. So, <laughs> and Terror Effect, so, get rid of the tokens. Yep. Go ahead. So you need to summon a token or else these guys are gonna die. Alright. Oh, well, when he summon, he gets to go ahead and summon a token. Alright, that's kind of annoying, but still fine, I guess. These are all just different levels, so I don't have to worry about seeing from you. Maybe he's going to sink. Maybe he's going to sink. I shouldn't have set that lemon verse. Now I could probably get black roast. Can I get black roast? Token is what, level 3? 
don't think I can get Black Rose. Because yeah, you're a level 2 tuner. You can go into like a Stardust Dragon, I guess. Stardust, Hot Red. I have no idea what you're playing on, do we? Just know I'm not in the mood to be losing to no Mecha Phantom Beast. Like, uh uh. Play this deck in freaking like, Utah Regionals. I don't know. I didn't lose then, and I'm not gonna lose now. One, two, three, four, five. You can go into five. Alright, so he's gonna sink the token. Four, five. No, summon your sync monster, so summon, summon your monster first. No, summon your fucking synchro monster first. Armadius. Alright, well that doesn't do anything, so. Like, Armadius does absolutely nothing. Okay, okay, nothing happens. You negate the activation of an effect, but my effect cannot be destroyed. Battle is continuous. Rebel's effect to not be des destroyed by battle does not activate. It is continuous. Oh, it's about continuous strong. Yubel always can't be destroyed battle. It doesn't do when you attack Yubel, it's like, Yubel's effect activates so it can't be destroyed battle. Like, no, it's always, always I can't be destroyed battle. That's the reason why Shadow Imprisoning didn't work like that. Sure, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, summon Calvary. Then. Yeah, I can't summon Calvary, Calvary, tackle with a token, then tear a wipe and Then when I wipe during the end phase, I'll get all my effects and you'll be dead. Fact. Fact. I'll go ahead and summon Emperor. Go ahead. Yeah, I put a lot more destruction in the deck, comes well better with the Calvary. Everything is chill. Hmm. Suspicious about that back row like huge, but I'm not sure what I want to do. Do I want to go ahead and have Emperor destroy Terror and, you know, summon Ultimate Nightmare and have Ultimate Nightmare deal with this? Oh, no, he's just going to go ahead and Phoenix Chain me. Okay. Oh, well, that totally solves it. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go Emperor Effect. I will go ahead and... Banish this heiress to destroy my terror. Fact. Summon ultimate nightmare. Hmm. I'm wondering if it's that mecha phantom beast guy that when it's fled summons two tokens. I can still summon, so. Who do I want to summon? I guess I'll just summon heiress. I don't know why you hate you, Bell. You're the one playing Mecha Phantom Beast. I hate Mecha Phantom Beast. Top. Your bell is Bay. Right. Take 600. Okay, you know. Well, of course you hate your bell, so it's no wonder that you totally freaking uh, know it's a fact. Okay, you can't just hate you, Bell. Like the the archings have been put in for fucking work in this duel too. Like, don't give me that, sir. Go ahead. I said I knew you were gonna patter out, and that's exactly what you did. You ran out of resources, pattered out, and that's it. The duel is over. Oh, whew, you yell top deck. You're so lucky I can't search this. So lucky. 
so lucky, lucky, lucky that I can't search that card. Okay, you're still gonna lose, but it was a nice try. It was a nice try. Damn. <laughs> So fucking death worm just left. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Falling down. Now I get it. Yeah, that's it. That's a game. Yep. Should I just use it? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use it. Can I still target them? Just they can't be destroyed by battle by card effect, right? Yeah. I was thinking I was mixing them up with magic scepters. Yeah. Falling down. Give me your monster. I control the Nurch Fiend, therefore I get your monster. Like, not only do I have a 3,000 beat of it, then I get fucking three snap fills too. Like, I fucking love this deck. It fucking puts in the work. The finest. And game. Whew. What a great duel coming back. That feels good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right I'm going to go ahead and call it. Right, 16 minutes. Totally fine. I'm gonna shoot for like 15 to 20 minutes of video because you know I don't want the videos to be too long where you don't want to watch them. But you know, you want to go ahead and sit down, be like, oh, this episode of Vine Wise only 16 minutes. Let's go ahead and watch it. And God, who you got Archfiends? See, there's a reason why this deck stayed on here. I finally got it working and it put in that work. You cannot deny that. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the return of me, moi, and uh, our new schedule. You know, Vine Y still in effect, Daily Duel still in effect, everything going fine you know I'll take the weekends off and uh, just be nice and refreshed and play some Yu-Gi-Oh so hopefully I'll be able to get out play some Yu-Gi-Oh in real life and I'll bring more content for you guys so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm in one so thanks for watching thanks for all the support thank you for the support while I was gone and thank you for the support on the new uh, scheduling changes and uh yeah and I am looking forward to bringing you guys more content tomorrow so I will see you guys tomorrow with not Plugless's Ebell, of course, but actually see you guys tomorrow with Labyrinth Ebell. Alright, people, thanks for watching.